Here we go. I know you've been waiting. Yes, sir. Thank you, Twisted. Gaming TV. We got a good one. We got grifting. We got grifting from some people you wouldn't even think. Gosh, we got a celebration. We're going to celebrate. We're going to talk about the truth. And the dumbest thing I ever heard from One Up Shield. What a show. Let's have a little shilling. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. I think the show starts now. Twisted Chris. Thanks for the uh, the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. Thank you very much, Twisted Chris. It was time to get your popcorn. It was time to get ready for the restaurant. If you are just tuning in now, this show, I, I got a lot to cover, guys. A lot. And you you want to stay tuned for this. You do. You don't want to miss this. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to miss this. If you want to skip ahead to the dumbest thing that, that Arcade one of shills and, and people have said, uh, you can go ahead and do that. But it uh, looks like we sell a celebrity. Who's the celebrity? Myself? Who Who is the celebrity in the chat? I didn't see. Show me retro? I don't know. Somebody in the chat is a celebrity. You're the celebrity, Paul. Thank you for the $10 super chat, Paul. I appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. All right, guys, let's open with this. It is the number one. Thank you, Paul, so much. We got. I have to mention Paul later in the show, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Polo, Dre Gott, good to see you again. Adam Kalb, wow, my family. All right. So, guys, have you seen this? What is this? What is this? I'm opening the show with this. The official Arcade 1-Up fan page has a John D. Ask Me Anything chat room. Can somebody explain this in the chat? I honestly don't know. I, I don't get this. Can somebody explain how a company who fired this guy, who let him go, who sent him packing, allows him to have a separate room where it's ask me anything in their official page is it weird i mean yeah it's weird right i i I, do they even know that he's got this page and apparently people go in there and they ask him questions and he doesn't answer any of them because he can't oh i can't tell you that i can't answer that i can't it's it's hilarious pepe it's hilarious how is this even possible? I have talked for years about how inept, how inept Arcade 1-Up is. I, I, it, it is. It's like what? It's like they're letting him back in. It's like, let's just spin the globe again and do the same thing. I just, I, I don't get it. Ah, oh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I can't believe this guy. They let him in and how crazy that is. Okay. We're going to talk. We got a huge announcement. What's the topic? Topics. Tech buzz tells the truth. Oh my God. While we're on the subject of John D, we can segue right into the tech buzz tells the truth. <clears throat> we're going to talk about drama. Okay. We are going to celebrate. We're not going to throw a pity party like some of these other people. We're going to talk about pity party grifting and how bad it is now, how bad it's gotten. It's getting out of hand. We're gonna, then we're going to talk about the dumbest thing that 1UP ever said. And then we're going to do a huge announcement, guys. Huge, huge announcement. You guys know when people, I, I love when people say, oh, my God, I got a huge announcement. It's a huge announcement. And then it's like, yeah, I'm uh, starting a separate channel, and it's going to be a live channel, and that's my announcement. Mine might be like that, actually, so stay tuned for that huge announcement. It might, it might be like that. Uh, or or a huge announcement. Uh, At Games has said that they're going to make 
a uh, uh, pinball a pack available to you with these games. We do it. it. It is. We will have. This is part of the announcement. I actually have more than one announcement. Don't let me forget to talk about that one, Vegas. Uh, this is what we are going to celebrate tonight. This is a celebration. You cannot make this stream like you, you can say anything and I won't care because the Rexer show now has a world record on Donkey Kong. DK3, and we'll talk about that. That is the celebration. He gave it away early. We're going to talk about that, and we'll show it. Yes, we will. Uh, yeah, thank you, Carl. All right, let's get into Tech Buzz, okay? You don't know the Tech Buzz. He is, he's actually, I mean, you got to give him credit for being the original 3-4 scale arcade home podcast show, really. He was the one that kind of launched the shows. He had the best show by far with Glenn and Cool Toy. He had the best guests, the best people who could talk. By far, it was the best show, okay? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Twisted Gaming. A huge announcement. It's huge. It is that big. Thanks for the, do the super chat. I don't that's even know what a super is. chat is. Yes, that's, it's going to be huge. So... The ret yeah, the retro buzz. It was good, you know? I mean, who didn't like going to see Glenn and Cool Toy talk? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so let's get on to what he, he went on a show, and he starts talking ab about some of the experiences he had with John D at 1UP. If you don't know John D, he was a vice president at 1UP, and uh, he got fired, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. But he goes on to talk about the things and interactions that he had with John D exposing what a scumbag this guy is. And we already knew it. Now, we already knew it, and, and Tech Buzz and I have argued years ago about what a piece of crap this guy is. I used to tell him I hate the guy. The guy's garbage. He lies to the community. He, he mocks people on uh, handicap on the Internet. He mocks people's families. You know, he lies to the community about what's available, what's coming. He solicits uh, uh, YouTubers to lie to the community, to fake FOMO. Uh, he, he now... Now, Tech Buzz comes out and says, well, John D., you know, he, he's, he's tried the whole time to sabotage different, different companies. He's, 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 he tried to let, have me sabotage 1UP, he said, after he got fired from 1UP. He wanted me to sabotage him. So he comes out and tells the truth, and he gets some pushback from people. Why are you creating drama? Why? Tech Buzz didn't create the drama, you idiots. John D. created the drama. All Tech Buzz is doing is telling the truth. That is all he's doing. Tech Buzz is speaking the truth and his experiences. You can't blame him. You blame the person who creates the drama. That is John D. If you are blaming Tech Buzz for creating drama, your, your hate is, is misdirected. Your hate needs to be the one who lied and deceived the community and, and solicited YouTubers to lie and deceive the community and who tried to sabotage companies like iArcade and At Games and all these companies. That's where your hate needs to be directed. If all of TechBuzz's interactions with John D were perfect and he was like, oh yeah, I had a great guy, great guy and this and that, and we did this and he did that. If he didn't, if he just told that, there's no drama. But he told the truth. And you guys want to drag tech buzz and say why are you creating drama you idiots john d created the drama and it's sad that the people who are disciples of john d and think he's a hero cannot face the reality that the guy's a scumbag i'm just that's it i'm sorry to tell everybody this and you guys in the chat know it the people in here know it you know there's probably 100 people in here that know it and there's 21 lurkers who are still john d uh, disciples and think the guy's the greatest thing since sliced bread, which is just the saddest thing in the, in the world. Um, and yeah, tech Buzz had the best production. He had the best guests actually at that. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I haven't watched tech buzz in a while for his one up content. So I don't know. I, I uh, that was uh 19 K Fox, you know, who, 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 who we'll talk about a little bit in his grifting. Boy, you wouldn't think you think 19, you, who would have thought 19K Fox would be, Fox would be e-begging and grifting? I, I would have never thought of it. And then this is Smitty. This, this. And then Mike B, suck-ups of all suck-ups, is, is saying John D's a hero. He's a rock star multiple times. 
I mean, this was the saddest thing I've ever seen. The guy that lied to the community and deceived the community over and over and called you a drug addict and called us all drug addicts and gave us the finger and mocked people. I mean, this is the guy that's a rock star? Give me a break. Give me a break. And then there's people, oh, John D., we love you. You guys, I mean, it, how pathetic can it get? I mean, we all know this. Ah, uh, that's a rock star. You know that commercial? It's the funniest thing now when I, when I, when I think of that. You know, Alice Cooper's like in the, in the boardroom and the boardroom, all the employees are having a meeting. They're like, you're a rock star, man. They're pointing at John D. You're a rock star, man. And then Alice Cooper's like, he's not a rock star. I'm a rock star. I'm the rock star. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That commercial's hilarious. Oh, uh, Kumarev. Thank you. Thanks for the, uh, the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. And I am uh, uh, one of the ones who don't care what you're talking about. Can you give some background for context? Also, good games on the Donkey Kong record. Uh, you don't want to talk about Tech Buzz? Or, um, well, all I have is talked about Tech Buzz. Tech Buzz basically came out and said John D. solicited him to, to drag one up through the mud. He was giving him uh, inside information after he got fired and was like, Tech Buzz, tell this, tell that, tell this other thing. Give him, get, here's the list of what they're doing next year. He's like, leak it. He's like, F them, F one up. So Tech Buzz is like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's just shady. Why are you asking me to do that? Uh, and you're right. I should have explained that, Akuma Rev. Thank you for the 4.99 super chat. Thank you very much. I, I, you know, I know a lot of my viewers don't follow this this crap, but it, it's just interesting that sometimes I want to talk about it because people don't see things. Th you know, people people don't see what the truth is and what's going on, right? And 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 as I say, hate who he creates the drama, not he who tells the truth. Don't hate that person. Uh, Kev, I, I got, we got a show for you guys coming and Kev, this is part of the announcement. Uh, and I know some of you are probably wondering if you're just joining why this is pulled out the donkey Kong three, we will talk about that it has to do with the world record. All right. Yeah. I'd enjoy them all too, for different points of views. Uh, if, if you thought some of them were giving the point of view of shills, then yeah, I mean, watch it and, and you know, you can see, but, uh, I get it. Watch everybody. So you so you can get everybody's viewpoint. Oh, he's got video recordings and all that stuff. It's not, I mean, the, the, he, he's got messages from John and all that stuff, you know? So, uh, it, it, I mean, the proof is just, he told the truth. I mean, there's, there, nobody is debating that he's lying about it. I mean, we all know that he tried to sabotage IA arcade, that he tries to sabotage at games. We all know that. So it's highly underrated. Jasmine, highly Highly underrated. All right. What was the second, second uh, thing? Celebration, no pity party. Let's talk about the pity party first, guys. I can't believe what this community has come, from, come, come, come to. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the grifting. Uh, I know people do it. I know we talk about DSP and, and Dreamcast guy. And, and these guys grift and they beg and, and even, you know, metal Jesus, you know, but when people do it in this community and the way they do it in this community is kind of pathetic, it's degrading. It's, it's kind of disgusting as a matter of fact, and I'll explain it in a second. Um, but even so much that I just found out that 19 K Fox is e-begging. He's literally, you know, doing videos and saying, Oh, I, I, I'm redoing my whole game room and I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm, I'm going to buy arcades. Oh, let's talk about this before I get into the e-begging. He's like, basically, I'm done with one up. I'm going to get good arcades now. I'm done with one up. The, the, you know, the narrative that's kind of being set by people. And I kind of feel bad about, about uh, some of the one up fans. The, all you one up fans, the Biggie D's, the, the, you know, the corner K's, the true one up fans and all the people who really like one ups. I feel bad for you. And I'm going to explain why. Because these guys ditched you. The shills of 1UP and all these YouTube channels, they ditched you and 1UP like an ex-girlfriend. Like, like they, 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 found, uh, you know, they found the next best uh, thing of a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, and they just, they just dropped you. It's like the girlfriend who found somebody better with more money and more thing, and they, and they ditched you. They ditched you for something better, and they said, I'm, I'm out of here. 
right? And they're like, we're, we're changing our narrative, you know? And you're like, wait a second, you guys, you guys were, were with us for five years telling us how great this is. And now you're ditching us. And now you're saying you don't like them anymore. There, 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 there's no, these things are no good. Ah, oh, I don't follow Dreamcast guys, so I don't know. Uh, but he, but we've talked about him. He begging his ceilings, leaking all this stuff. And we'll talk about that. But anyway, so all these YouTubers ditch him. They try and change the narrative. Oh my God here. You know, we don't like these things anymore. We're buying pinballs. Now we're pinball channels and we're buying this and we're maybe we'll do real arcades and maybe, and they drop them like a bad habit because views go down and the popularity has gone down and they, and it makes you think that they never loved them to begin with. Right. Four or five years of this nonsense, and they just said, I'm out of here, right? And they left you high and dry for the next, next best thing. But wait, there's always, there's always the comeback of the ex who sees that, oh, my God, Cornercade's getting a lot of views, and he's getting a lot of attention with this one-up. So let's come back and let's do another. Let's keep this one up train like the, like the ex like, or the person who breaks up with you, and then they come back for one last hurrah, you know? Like, shouldn't you feel used? I mean, don't you guys just feel used, like, for views and things? They never liked these things to begin with, you know? They liked them for one year and thought they were cool, and then they're like, yeah, we realize these things aren't cool, and, and we don't. Uh, thank you, Widow. I'm glad you enjoy my, my viewpoints. Because we got some viewpoints today that you're going to, people, I'm going to get some hate because we're calling out some people. But I'm just telling you what's happening, in my opinion. I'm not, I'm just the reporter guys that's all i am oh. that, that was then this is now we're moving on sorry guys sorry one up fans but they come back and kongs and b and, and mike b and kongs do a video we're going to talk about where what can we do to make them make the, the the units that we want what can we do oh <laughs> Uh, it's not you, it's me. That's what it is. It's like, it's not you, it's not me. Then they come back, you know, three three months later for one last hurrah. Oh, I can't believe how sad it is. It's like, oh my God, these guys played you for years. Oh, so here we go. Uh, let's move, let's move to, to, to the stuff that kind of, is sad when we talk about grifting. We talk about how some people do it. Some people like DSP, and I'll show a tweet here in a second. Some people like DSP just beg for the money, and I kind of respect that. It's what they do for a living. They just ask for it, right? And they grift and and whatever. You want to grift, you want to grift. There's a life lesson here to be learned, and, and the life lesson is teach your kids how to be a man and teach your kids how to earn a living and teach your kids how to not beg for money when you don't need it. Now, if DSP needs it or Dreamcast guy needs it because this is all they do for a living and they need the money to keep, okay. But a lot of us have jobs and this is a hobby. And yet we're still grifting. And what are we grifting for? We're grifting for arcades. Okay, we're grifting for toys. Ah, you should, Goofy. <laughs> It'll be short and sweet. Ah. So I don't mind, you know, I do mind people grifting when they shouldn't. And that's when I, when I, when people are well off and they have a good life and they have a lot of things going for them and they send tweets out. And my question to you in the audience is why do people send tweets out like this? What is the motivation? And I'll look for your answers. Okay. Cause I, I want to understand, I have a, 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 an idea, but when people tweet this type of stuff. And I'll use Mike B as an example because he's in our community and he's not the only one that does this. People do this across all social media, but I got to use Mike B as an example. My path to stranger things keeps getting more frustrating. My brakes went out. It's A-K-E-S, Mike, not uh, brakes like you broke something. Went on my Explorer and the D&D &D got damaged in shipping and the guy who bought it, it's like I can't catch a break on this. Why do people send these out on Twitter in general? I'm not just talking about Mike. Why do people send a message to everyone else in their community that is bad news? Why do you send bad news to everybody who's watching you? Why would somebody do this? I mean, I, 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 
I, I'm, I guess I'm asking is, why would somebody want people to feel bad? Why would you be on social media and somebody looks at this and goes, oh my God, I feel awful. Why, why, you know, I read this and this guy, and oh, he's, he's sharing, he's sharing, you know, this stuff. And, and, and this isn't a family member died and you're giving, you know, your, 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 con, you know, not your condolences or you want condolences or you, you know, this isn't a dog is sick or died. This is general life stuff. Your brakes need fixing. Who cares? Right? What is the purpose though, audience? What is the purpose of sending this tweet out? Is it to make people feel sorry for you? Do you want people to feel pity for you? Is there a reason why something so 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 common in life needs to be spread out all over social media? <laughs> Stranger things. Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring this up if it was just once. But he did this a few a month ago or two months ago when his furnace went out or three months ago and said, oh, my furnace went out and now I can't get this. And then he did another one where this happened and I can't get my dream pinball. He constantly does this and he does it the day before he streams. The exact day and night before he goes live on Mondays, he puts this out here. And then when he goes live, he casually mentions his brakes went out and, oh, this happened to me. And woe is me. Woe is me. But why do people do this? Why? Do they want you to feel sorry for them because it's good for other people to feel sorry? Do you want to drag your audience down with you? Is that what you're doing? Why do you want to drag people down with you for common stuff? My air conditioning goes out. Hey, this is Vegas. Ask Vegas. Our air conditionings go out every five freaking years. But I'm not on social media saying, oh, my air conditioning went out again. It's Vegas. It's hot. What do I do? Oh. And here's the thing. It's a setup. It's a calculated tweet because I'm going live and then I'm going to mention it. And then you guys are going to feel sorry for me. And then you're going to donate money. That's why they do it. Okay. I know you don't want to hear that. I know, I know people right now who are Mike B fans are going, oh my, but he's done it over and over and over again. It was the furnace last time. Then it was before that. Oh, I can't buy my dream pinball because I, I, this happened and, and it was his Godzilla, right? And I'm not saying Mike just does it. This is Dreamcast guy. This is all these guys. Dreamcast guy had a leak in his ceiling. All these guys do it. And then Mike goes, oh, so then he collects all this money because he said he couldn't get his Godzilla dream pinball right? And then the very next day he goes and buys a Godzilla pinball after he gets hundreds of dollars of super chats, a $15,000 pinball he buys after he gets a few hundred dollars in super chats. And you know what his excuse was guys? Well, I had to take a loan out and he tricked, he tried tricking people that he couldn't afford it. He had to take a loan out. Let me tell you something, guys. Let me, let me explain finance to you guys. People buy houses. Can they afford them with cash? No, they take a loan out. People buy cars. Do they pay them for cash? No, they take a loan out. If you can pay the loan, you can afford the pinball. And people bought his bullshit. That's what happened. I, I had to take a loan out. If you can afford the loan, you can afford the pinball. Can you guys believe that logic? Oh, my God. And that's another thing. If you need a loan, then don't buy it, right? Or if you can afford the loan, then buy it. But don't say you don't have the money to buy, not to buy it. Because you do if you can pay the loan. If I have a house, I can't say I, don't, I can't afford a house when I can afford a down payment and a, and a mortgage and pay the mortgage. I can afford it. That's why I took it out. But he fooled the people around him saying, and people are going, oh, my God, I did buy that right now. I did buy into Mike's. Oh, I, I had to take a loan out. I didn't realize that people buy cars with loans and then they pay the car payment and they can afford them. Why? Because the guy's got money. So don't grift when you don't need it. And then here he goes with his brakes. And of course, I guess people donating for his brakes. This is normal life stuff, people. Stop grifting. You know, stop doing it. It's, it looks bad as a man. It looks bad. Like, what, I'll, I'll give you, this is the God's, God's to honest truth, guys. If I complain about money and I say, oh, I want to buy this, 
like I say, oh, you know, I want to buy that Star Wars helmet, you know, Lego set, you know, or Lego thing. You know what Chase says to me, an eight-year-old? He goes, sell your arcades, dad, if you want to buy it. I swear to God, he says it all the time. Whenever I complain about money, he says, sell your arcades. An eight-year-old is smarter than everyone else. An eight-year-old. Thank you, Show Me Retro. Drop the thumbs up. This is why it's called the True Serum Podcast, guys. I'm sorry. This is going to be a long one. we got a lot to talk about. This was one of the things. We haven't even gotten to the lie yet, we, or, the, or the, the stupidest thing that they've said. We haven't even gotten to that yet. Ugh. Hey, this is probably the best loan you can take, though, a home equity. It's got good percentage, you know? But if you can afford the payment, then you can afford the pinball. Okay, guys? I, I, I feel so bad for breaking that logic to people who were so like, oh, I gave him a whole bunch of money so he could buy his Godzilla, and now I realize, oh, my God, the guy is a CFO and his wife's a lawyer, and I gave him all kinds of money. Ugh. And then I get it. And then I, somebody sends me 19K is on his stream going, hey, guys, you know, all the super chats and the memberships help me build my arcade, you know, so thank you. And, and all these things help me and it's going to help me grow my arcade. Why are you even saying that? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Perry, you, you do a GoFundMe. You might as well. I'd have more respect for you if you just said, hey, I want a new TV. Can I have a GoFundMe? I just, I, I, and I, I'd have more respect if you said, and I have the money, but I don't want to spend my money. I want to spend your money. Like, I would, I would laugh at that and be like, yeah, that, at least he's telling the truth, you know. Uh, all right, catching up on chat. Sorry, guys. That's my rant. No, just a little late to the pinball game. So, all right. I don't even know what the next topic is. Uh, we got to celebrate, guys. Time to celebrate. So what happened, guys? What happened? This is something I've been trying to do for a long time. Okay, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to play the volume. I'm just going just gonna to show a little bit of this. This is Donkey Kong 3. Let's celebrate. Let's have this is something incredible that happened. Okay? I don't know why my thing's all jacked here, guys. Sorry about the upper right corner, but... Um, Oh, Dylan, thank you. I must have missed that. Where is that? Let's go back. All right, well, let's just show some of this play while I thought. Shameful, having decent jobs and already well off, yet shaking the, the oil can out of the street corner. Absolutely embarrassing. That This is what I am saying. This is the exact thing of what I'm saying, okay? These people are what they have it better than everyone else. And they are asking for people to give them money. Okay. Let me, let me correct myself. They don't ask for people to give them money. They, they kind of trick you and calculate it. Now, 19 K Fox asked and said, Hey, give me some money, you know, um, you know, g give me memberships and super chat so I can build my game room. But these here, okay, here, I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to go back real quick. Cause Thanks this is the, the other thing. The super chat. Thank you, Dylan. I don't even know what a super chat is. Thank you so much. Do they ever send tweets? I, I totally forgot this point. Do they ever send tweets when they get a bonus at work or when something good happens to them and they get a lot of money from, from something? Maybe, you know, maybe their, their parents gave them a, a good, you know, trust uh, money, you know, early thing, or they got a bonus at work or they got paid or they got a huge raise or they got, you know, promotion. Do they ever tell you when that happens? Do you ever see that? No. Why? Because then you'll be like, oh, these guys are, are well off. I mean, they're in the upper, upper middle class. Why? You know, no, they want you to feel sorry for them and feel pity for them. So they don't tell you the good news. They never say, oh my God, I got a huge raise. I got a bonus check of 20,000 at work. Ugh. All right, let's talk about this. I'm trying to get there, Perry. Trying to get there. Let me talk about the world record because, because I got to be, I, I got to be transparent, guys. Um, I do. Okay. And um, I've been trying to get what was called the RBS on Donkey Kong 3. The RBS is what's called the repeating blue screen. Only nine people have done it, from what I can tell, from the record screen. Okay. Only nine people have done it. Um, and I became the 10th today. 
Okay. I became the 10th person to get what's called the RBS, which is the repeating blue screen. I'll explain that in a second. Now, do I have the highest score of Donkey Kong 3? No, I don't. Not even close. Okay. I don't. But, but I do have something else. I do have a stipulation that nobody else has registered yet. Everybody who has a score higher than me has registered their score on MAME. I registered my score on real arcade hardware in an arcade cabinet. Okay. So, um, it, it's, I mean, there's nothing special about the, the board or anything. It's just a normal hard uh, PCB. Um, I can't remember what the name, it's like DK something CPU. I don't even remember, but the point of the of the of the world record is even though these guys could beat me on a probably on an arcade easily if they really tried they used mame and i used arcade and if you go to the dk forum and you see the top scores of donkey kong 3 you will eventually see me i just submitted my score today and you will see mine as the first arcade score the first one with arcade so we talk about donkey kong and mame versus arcade and and who has the arcade um, lots of plays involved. It, it was, it was hours and hours and hours. I can't even tell you guys. And, um, I don't even know what this thing is behind me. Sorry about this goofy thing behind my window here. But anyway, uh, I don't even know. I mean, I, I you got to remember, here's, here's the other thing about Donkey Kong three guys is there are different difficulties. There's one through four. I started on difficulty three because I wanted to get a million points on difficulty three. And I've talked about the trifecta in Donkey Kong. It's a million points on difficulty three Donkey Kong. It's a million points on DK, on DK Jr. And it's a million points on Donkey Kong. I have two of the three. I have a million points on difficulty three Donkey Kong three. And I have a million points on Donkey Kong Jr. So I have two of the three. On Donkey Kong, I have 968,000. Uh, this game is ridiculous, actually. I, 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 I can't. I, this, this is to me is achievement is just as hard as getting a million on on Donkey Kong. I, I, I think so. Um, maybe a tiny bit easier, but there is some crazy stuff in this game. The action is incredible, and some people are good at platformers, and some people are good at uh, vertical shooters. Right? You kind of need to be good at both in this, you know. So. Corner Kate will get the he'll get the the Nintendo be the first one to land the Nintendo uh, license. So here's the thing: in to get to the RBS, there's you can do it on different difficulties. This is difficulty one, easy, okay. And you have to get through 160 boards, okay. 160 boards. There, I just died. You didn't see that, but I just died. That stunk. Anyway. You have to get through 160 boards on difficulty one, which what's called the marathon. And I will be doing a video on this and I will, I will be bragging, uh, that I have the highest arcade score. Now, again, I'm not going to trick you guys and say that these guys aren't better than me. I'm not saying I'm the best. Okay. I'm just saying I've registered the highest arcade score on donkey Kong three and I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, heaven is a huge arcade. Yes. Full of one ups. And then you know you went to hell because you go up there and it's 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 an arcade full of one ups and then you're like, ah, I went to hell. <laughs> oh God. Uh <laughs> Oh, I can't make this stuff up. So anyway, guys, here. So anyway, let me show you the repeating blue screen. Okay, let me get to it. Can I skip forward? Not yet there. Not yet there. Now, Jason, I saw you. I'll get to that. Thank you very much. Uh, is it here yet? Nope, not yet there. I know it's about. So what happens is you get to the blue screen, and it just keeps repeating. And you can see here now I finish a blue screen, right? And the blue screen comes back up on the next screen. Okay. That's the repeating blue screen. It doesn't cycle through the screens. And that's what's basically, it's not the equivalent of a kill screen, but 
it's like like the kill screen of Donkey Kong. Okay, so that is what we accomplished today, guys. That is what we accomplished. It is a celebration. I am the tenth person in the world to get to the repeating blue screen. Now, let me read this. Thanks for the do the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. Congratulations on the DK3 accomplishment. Takes a lot of stamina. I'll have what you're having. A little bit of shilling. Cheers. A little bit of shilling. What's better than a little shilling? You missed a lot, 360. I'm sorry. We just talked about me breaking, uh, well, getting to the RBS, the repeating blue screen on Donkey Kong 3. Quite an accomplishment. Took me a very long time. And here's the thing, guys. I laugh because... Probably there's some players out there who could do it, but they're too busy spending 30 hours a week on YouTube streaming and talking about arcade one-ups instead of playing their games and actually accomplishing something. This can never be taken away from me. This is accomplishment that will go down in history with me. My grandkids will be talking about this. They'll be like, yeah, my grandpa beat Donkey Kong 3. He crushed it. He also beat Donkey Kong Jr. And he bought, beat Donkey Kong. He beat all three. So, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, again, I will do a video on it. It will be, uh, uh, you know, maybe a little humor in there. Oh, okay. Do we want to get to the dumbest thing ever? Who's ready for the dumbest thing ever? Who's ready? And did I thank uh, Jason? Thank you, Jason. You know, it's, it's, it's almost three hours to play that one game. It really is, Jason, by the way. People don't know. It's almost three hours to get, to get through that. And you start getting fatigued, guys. You, you do. At my age, I get fatigued. So, thanks again. All right. Who's enjoying the stream? Put a one in the comment if you're enjoying the stream. Put a one. Because we ain't done, guys. This is... This is, a, this is an epic of all time. Let's go. All right. There we go, Don. That's what I like to see. But don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I get sent this. I get sent this. I, I, don't, I don't even know. How do I? I got to go back. All right. I get, I get told. That these guys, Mike B and Kong, are doing a stream and they're they're trying to hype one up again. They're doing their shill stuff. They look at those ones. It's incredible. By the way, Biggie, I I heard you said that uh, people were trying to cancel me again. Mike B and P Dub's trying to tell you not to watch my show. You know why wouldn't you want to watch the number one arcade one up show? Why wouldn't you want to watch this show? It's the only one that's entertaining. It's the only one that gives you anything fun to watch. It's incredible. Why wouldn't you want to watch it, Biggie? But they try and cancel me. They tell you not to watch me. The only one entertaining that tells the truth. All right. So these guys do a stream. And they're trying. I'll preface this with they're, they're trying to. I don't know what they're trying to do, honestly. But they're talking about how do we get Arcade 1-Up to build the machines that we want them to build. Okay. And the truth. That's right. So they're talking about, they're trying to figure out how to get Arcade 1-Up to build the machines they want, which is their Robotron and Smash TV and Daytona and whatever. Who gives a flying crap at this point? Stop with the nonsense already, okay? Nobody cares, okay? Just move on already. But they're, they're going to drag it on because they need those views and they got to, remember, they're that X, they're that X, they're, they're, they're the one that dumped everybody and then went, ooh, you know, I'm going to go back to my X and try and get 1-Up news and views and, and do this stuff, so... All right, uh, I'll, I got to put this up early before. Thank you, Papa Brad. I appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. Who knows who that is, by the way, saying that? I've, I've wanted to ask. First one I see come up, $10. Arc, if you know who said that in this little thing, who says this? Thanks for the, uh, $10 the super chat. Amazon gift I don't gift even card. know what a super chat is. First one who says it, and I, I, I'm using this thing. First one who knows. If you don't know, you don't know. I don't know. Who, who is that speaking? Anyone? Thanks for the, uh, the super chat. No, it's not any of those I don't even know guys. what a super chat is. You can is. keep guessing. I'm going to move on. I'll look, back at the, I'll look back at the chat. 
It's definitely Mike B knows what a super chat is. Trust me. It's not. It's 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 one of the biggest YouTubers. I'll give you a hint. He plays the most popular game ever, and it's not Minecraft. He plays the most popular game ever. Okay, and he's huge on. And here's the story. You guys want to hear the story behind this? All right, I'll play it one more time. Thanks for the do the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. This guy is one of the biggest YouTubers ever. And about a month ago, it's not Ludlow. He he does a stream and my kid's watching him. And he does his stream like he, one of his first streams and he sets up monetization. Not the whole dot live. It's not the completionist. <laughs> he knows what a super chat is. God. I'm going to have to ruin it for you guys. Uh, no, I'll keep giving I'll keep giving a hints, okay? So, no clue at all. So, he's watching this stream and I'm listening to him and this guy's streaming and he gets a super chat and he's like millions of subscribers, millions of subscribers. Not any of these guys. I don't think I don't think I've seen it yet. <laughs> it's not UAG knows what a super chat is. And he gets a super chat and he doesn't know what to do. He's like, "Oh, what do I do? He's like, uh, what is this? He's like, thanks for the uh, donation, uh, the Super Chat. He plays Fortnite, guys. He's the most famous Fortnite. He's one of the most famous Fortnite guys. It's not Retro Ralph. <laughs> Does that help anybody? Keep guessing. You can guess as many times as you want for a $10 thing. Why is this guy calling me? Not Tech Plus, not the Doc. Not, come on, man. It's not Ninja, but I think you're getting that close here, Gamer Price. It... <laughs> He's the one of the most famous Fortnite streamers. God, listen to the voice. Thanks for the do the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. All right, I'm not gonna tell you till you guys figure it out. All right, let's move on. The dumbest thing that people ever said. Let's listen to this, guys. I mean, I don't even know what to do here um, when I talk about this, but here's the video. They're on the stream. I'll look back and see if anybody got it. I'm not. I'm not. I don't see the answer, but I don't. So. These guys, these guys uh, do a stream, and they start talking about how to get people to watch, to no, how to get Arcade 1-Up to build the machines that they want to build. Will you guys stop guessing? You, I don't see anybody in it. Probably somebody got in. If I see it, I'll hit you up if you, if you did get it right, and I'll give you that $10 uh, Amazon. Let's play this. Let's just play but it. Paul had a comment up there. He said, what we need to do is we need to find out how to get onto the buying team of these big retailers like Walmart and Best Buy. And once we slime our way in, we convince them to buy the cab. That's our way in. And that's the funny thing. Yeah. That's literally what we have to do. So I, I wanted to talk about the, like the Get Loud campaigns that Liv tried to push. Okay, hold on. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. If you didn't catch that, what he was trying to say is, we've been talking, when we've been pushing our things, well, th Paul, I, Paul, I'm going to get to this in a second. This is funny. He was saying that we've been, you know, putting our gripes and our wants and our desires to Arcade 1-Up and that is the wrong direction. We should be calling Best Buy and calling Walmart and calling Target, the buying team, the procurement team, and telling them we want Robotron and these arcades. I'm not joking, guys. This, the, he literally said this with full, you know, yes, I'm serious. I can't believe, but it gets worse, okay? You guys think this is stupid? You guys think this? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Okay, now Paul says, I, I, Paul, when I heard he said Paul said this in the chat, something to that nature, I thought he meant Paul Barris, and I, 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 had to, I had to go write Paul Barris and go, please tell me you did not just say, call Best Buy buyers and their procurement team and hit them up and try to get them to convince Arcade 1-Up to build a, a freaking Robotron. Please tell me, Paul Barris. And he goes, God, he was like, he was like, Rex, please don't insult me like that. He's like, please don't, don't insult me. That's the dumbest thing. Tell me this gets worse, guys. I'm going to show you how, how, how more stupid this gets. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but let me, let me go back here. Tell me when ever in the history of the world has a group of 200 people 
convinced a retailer to convince a manufacturer to build something. When has that ever happened? We'll get to this part, Akuma. We'll get to that. When Mortal Kombat 1 wanted to be made, did I go to freaking GameStop and go, GameStop, I, I want Mortal Kombat 1. When, it, when can I buy it? Did I go to Target and go, I want Street Fighter 6. Can you please convince Capcom to make Street Fighter 6? And this guy wants you to go talk to Best Buy and Walmart procurement teams and try and trick them into thinking that they want to call one up to make Robotron. This is literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. When a community wants Mortal Kombat a new game, they go to Ed Boon. They go to Midway. They go to the people that create the game. They don't go to a God-blessed retailer, and it gets worse. I'm going to show you how stupid this gets. You thought just that one statement itself was stupid? This gets worse. This gets so worse. Now, I'm going to tell you guys first. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, argue about retailers. Retailers do not convince manufacturers to build stuff from a 200 person community. Okay. The community convinces the makers, the midways, the Capcoms to make a game. They voice their opinion and I can prove it to you. Okay. And I, 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 don't, I, I can prove it to you. Okay. I can prove you how stupid this was. Okay. So he goes, and does and, and let, let me let me just put my expertise in here, okay? Because I know you guys are like, oh, the buy. He's telling to call the buyers, guys. If this was my company, if I was the Best Buy buyer or the or, or the the director of purchasing or the director of procurement or the vice president of procurement, and somebody called one of my buyers and said, hey, this guy's asking about, you know, uh. Uh, Robotron. Uh, I, I don't even understand what he's asking. When is it for sale? Uh, I, I'd be like, we don't make Robotron. Tell him to call the, the freaking manufacturer, the supplier, the person that makes it. Tell him to call them. We don't make it. We don't care. But let's get back to Akuma Rev's point, and we'll get to how much more stupid this gets. Best Buy and Walmart have been burned so many times that it's an insult to try and coordinate an effort to get them to think that they want something that has burned them in the past. They have done this already. They have bought these machines and they have been burned. They have the history that tells them we will never do this again. They already know this. Now, it gets even worse. Let's, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next. I want to go back a step here because Dude, there's something so that everybody needs I, I to know. I wanted to talk about the, like the Get Loud campaigns that Liv tried oh, to push shit. during that stream a couple of years ago. And she said, you know, you need to get loud. And what we all did was the wrong thing. We tried to get loud to Arcade 1UP. And Arcade 1UP don't sell to us. They don't listen to us. They don't make their own. Uh, pause it there. Pause it there. Somebody super chatted. Let me tell you that. He just said that Arcade 1UP doesn't listen to us. You built your channel. For five years, convincing the community that Arcade One Up listens to you, and you proved it by look at they made fake coin doors, they made better, they made better marquees, they they they, and then they make worse marquees, and then they made better monitors, and then they made worse monitors, and then they they they, they did this, and they made bigger cabs. You convinced the community that they listen to you. Now you're saying they don't listen to you. Which one is it? Tell me which one is it. All right. Uh, can't wait for Michael B. Claimed no longer to do speculation vision. Drop a speculation video uh, on when John D. is coming back to Arcade 1-Up. It might happen. That might happen. Thank you, Ra Raul. Thank you very much. If it gets views, that's what he gets. Uh, I know. Got Chase here, but Chase, he's being a, he, he might have to get a Lego for this, okay? I might have to buy him a Lego. Honestly, how 
<laughs> there he is. So now we have him saying that this Get Loud campaign was dictated by who? Live. Live dictated this. I thought Consul Kits dictated that Get Loud campaign. I was wrong, but I forgot that Consul Kits worked for 1UP, and now he's convincing you guys to get loud at the directive of Liv. Liv, who is directing Consul Kits, who worked for 1UP, which we don't know when or what time frame because he didn't tell us. He didn't shed that light on anything. This rabbit hole goes deep, guys. Very deep. Okay? <laughs> rabbit hole. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to pause it for one second. All right, I had to bribe my kid for 20 more minutes because you guys are liking this, I hope. Uh, Gamer Price, the cult of John D and his disciples is hilarious to listen to. It's amazing to me that they never fail. Well, this is hilarious. We'll lead into this, okay? I still haven't gotten to the, to the absolute ridiculous nature of this. It gets even dumber, guys, but wait. But, but, but this, this, since you segued into this, okay, I got to bring this up. I got to bring this up now. Where did they get this from? to reach out to the buyers in the procurement team at Best Buy to try and do this, okay? Well, maybe they got it from this. The Facebook group, if a retailer like Best Buy or Console wants something, 1UP will produce it in large quantities if they feel that they can sell through. And wait a second, we're going to get to a conspiracy theory that I have about this whole thing. So just hold on tight and wait a second. They saw this message that they're in this group. These guys are in this group, and they're like, oh, my God, let's do a stream, and let's tell people to go. Wait, I, I haven't even gotten to that part. Let's talk about how we need to get Best Buy and Walmart to do this thing. I'm here to tell you guys, again, if you guys contacted my buying department and I found out that this was a coordinated effort dictated by somebody who works for 1UP, Mike B., as a director of VP of procurement, I would be right on the phone with one up and going, what the F? Why are your people trying to do this? Trying to, trying to trick us into thinking that something is wanted. And why are people reaching out to my buyers on social media, wasting our time, trying to trick us to do this. And one of them is your employee. Who is this guy, Mike B., I'd ask? Who is this guy? Well, uh, he, he, you know, yeah, we use him as a social media guy and blah, blah, blah. Hey, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd be right in their ear going, get the hell out of here. Shut this down. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. This is bad. And if I was one up, I'd be like, Mike B., shut up. Do not have people contact our customers. Do not ever do this again. I would be pissed if I was in charge of Arcade one up. I'd be like, you're because watch what he does. Let's get to it. Let's let's bring it up. Thank you, what Gamer you've Price. just said oh, is one of the sorry. most insanely idiotic I'll just let things that play I've because ever heard. It still is one of the most insanely idiotic things. Uh okay. We gotta go back to this. But at the end of the day, Arcade One Up doesn't decide what watch makes it this. retail. The retailers do. So this we were so getting ridiculous. loud. I'll get to you unacceptable. One second. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we need to say uh, Best Buy, Costco. Wait, yes. I, I want a Robotron, Costco. Yeah, give me a say Robotron. that and watch them laugh in your face. <laughs> Literally, and shut the hell up. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna show you how you can actually impact sales right now if you've got a minute. I oh, will my God. You're going to show, show me? On screen. You're going to show so me how to impact what sales? Do. Watch what he does. Go, Hi, at Best Buy. Not Canada. They don't make any decisions. Canada doesn't make any decisions. <laughs> uh, the real bad why people <laughs> are the uh, are you watching this? One up Robotron 2084 cabs going to be available to buy. Ah, ha ha ha. So hashtag. Uh, get loud retailers or <laughs> I know you got to come up with your own. I can't believe now. this. I can't believe how stupid this is. He just tried to tweet Best Buy 
and trick them into th- into going when a, oh Robotron when I don't know when Robotron's going to be available. Like they're going to go to Arcade One Up and go, oh man, Mike B. This guy said, you know, well, where's Robotron? We want to know where Robotron is. The two hundred people in his chat that saw this are going to go convince a retailer to convince Arcade One Up to build a Robotron. This is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. It really is. Just go to one up and try and convince them to make it. But wait, I'll get to the conspiracy theory in just a second. Just wait. Okay. Unacceptable fringe. Thank you. I asked GMC, when can I buy a self flying car back in the future? And they said, whenever I come down from whatever trucks I'm on, it's coming, guys. Get loud. Get loud. Thank you, unacceptable. Thank you. Very nice. I know you can mess with that carpet. Uh, and that's hilarious. That really is. Sorry I missed all these chat guys, but I, I can't believe how dumb this is. And then he actually tweeted Best Buy. And here's the thing. You're going to say, well, maybe that worked. Two days later, the tweet had nine retweets and 26 likes. That's it. 26 likes and nine retweets. That's what he got. That's what's going to convince Best Buy to convince Arcade 1UP to make a Robotron. That's how stupid this is. I can't make this stuff up. I can't make how dumb this is. I can't, make, I can't, I can't even explain how stupid it is for them to try and, and convince you as the community to go and harass a retailer to try and trick you to think or to go to a manufacturer and, and make a 1UP. I mean, what has these channels stooped to? What level of unoriginality and stupidity have these channels stooped to in order to get views and, like, try and keep this alive? Like, keep this, oh, my God, we got to keep this alive for 1UP. We have to figure this out. And by the way, unacceptable, at least you went to GMC, the company who could do it, you know? You didn't go to that company that sells cars in a in a freaking... Uh, whatever, a a dispensing machine and say, hey, I want a flying car. Oh. I can't make this stuff up. Yeah, well, at least he has the number two arcade one-up channel. Very strange suggestion. It's it's like, it's just stupid. Did they go to, did, did, did they go to GameStop or did they go to Ed Boon when they wanted Mortal Kombat 1? Who did they go to? Who did the community go to? I mean, this is not a hard question. This is not a hard question. Ugh. So now we have 200 people trying to convince a retailer to convince a manufacturer to make something. Here's the conspiracy theory, guys. The conspiracy theory is Mike already knows what's being made. Thank you, Meatball Saucy, for the $1. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for the, do- the super chat. I don't even know what a super chat is. Nothing exciting. Chase is asking what's being made, and I'm telling him nothing exciting. A Robotron arcade, supposedly. Yeah, you don't know what Robotron is. <laughs> no, it's been out. It's been out for a while. All right. So here's the conspiracy theory. Mike already knows what's coming out. He already knows that Robotron is. He already knows. He already knows that Smash was on the was on the list to come out in 2024. He already knows that all this stuff is coming out. But here's the thing. They don't want to have to direct distribute it because they can't do it anymore. Okay. They need a retailer to pick this up in order to sell it, in order to do it. Otherwise, they got to do it direct. They've invested too much RD. They've invested too much a prototype and research and 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 licenses on all this stuff. And now they solicited Mike B to try and convince you, the community, to have to trick uh, Best Buy into picking it up just for 1UP. Not for you. Not for you, community. He's doing it for 1UP. To, to help 1UP with their customer base and have them pick it up because they've already effed up with Best Buy and nobody wants to carry these things anymore because they've been dur- burned. They've been burned. MK4 would do better than Robotron, 100%. But the, he, the, people really think Robotron is popular? No. But... but Back in the day, John Deeg, I think, convinced 1UP before he left 
we should research Robotron and Smash TV. And then somebody smart at 1UP said, these are stupid titles. Nobody knows what these are. Why would we ever make them? But then John D. had already invested all this money in R&D and prototypes and licensing. So now they need Mike B's help. Really good. So now they need Mike B's help to help them, a guy who works for 1UP, right? A guy who works for them to try and get these retailers to help pick, them, pick up for them. Yes, and they can't go direct anymore, right? They fired everyone at the warehouse, so they're stuck. So now they did all this thing. They did all this research for Robotron and Smash, and they have nowhere to distribute it. They have no outlet for it, and they, they're scared to do direct anymore. So maybe it's just Shop Hippo for this thing that, that was supposedly on the 2024, you know? That's what's going on with this. Yeah, it was popular. It's not popular anymore. It's so not popular, Paul. I, 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 I'd laugh at these people who, who think that, oh, Robotron is going to sell. And why does Mike like Robotron? Because he picked out of a freaking hat. Let me put 500 arcade games in here, and I'll pick one out of a hat. Oh, yeah, I like Robotron. I can't get past board two, but I like Robotron. It's my favorite game. Uh, a Let's Go campaign would, would work better. So here it is, guys. I'm telling you firsthand, if somebody tried to convince me as a customer, as a, as a procurement department, as a buyer, I'd be pissed off. I'd be like, stick it. We don't do that. Go to the people who make it. We don't care and let them sell it to me. 200 people in a chat and 60 and 26 likes and nine retweets isn't going to get anybody anywhere. And to think that that was a viable option to get Arcade One Up to actually make a Robotron is patronizing to the community. It's stupidity. It's dumb. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's a plea and a beg for content, okay? Because they have nothing else. They have nothing else. It's over. It's over. It was the X, the, the, the hey, I broke up with you, but I need to come back to one up. What can we do? That's what this whole thing was. Well, that's what we think. No more direct to consumer because they just don't have the logistics and the infrastructure to do it anymore. So they need Mike B to beg retailers to pick up items. And that's what they're doing. I mean, he doesn't work for the community. That, that's how I'm going to end this stream, guys. Mike B doesn't work for the community. He works for 1UP. Okay? They work for 1UP. They don't have your best interests in hand. That's all. All right. I hope I made everything clear to you guys. Um, and I hope I shed some light on some of the things that are going on in this community that are absolutely pathetic. And it's just, uh, it's just total disingenuous, totally disgusting. And, uh, a lot of these things just need to be called out and I'm just telling the truth. I'm just showing what's going on guys. Call it drama. I don't give a crap, man. I'm moving on. Thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you later.